Welcome back. Uh, today we're looking at 2015 paper 2 math, which, which was on question 10a. And we have this diagram, which has got a, a B, C under trigonometry. And for question Roma number 1, we're asked to calculate angle B, B, A, C. So we're asked to find uh, this angle here, right? So let's make this angle as x, right? Then let's get started for solution here. For one, we are told to find the angle. If you can see, we are given three sided, this side and this side and this side. So we are going to use a trigonometry, which is a cos law, right? So we are going to start here, there's a small a, here there's small c, here small b, right? Then let's start with it. Uh, the small a, which is a squared, a squared, which is equals to b squared plus c squared minus uh, 2bc cos c, the angle what we are looking for, which is cos a, right? Then here, let's substitute. We all know that uh, we have a and the small a it is 37. So it will be 37 here squared, which is equals to our b. The small b it is 43, right? It is 43 squared plus c. Uh, and the c, small c it is 43 also. 43 squared, then minus 2. Then here we have uh, 43. Also 43 here, then let's take it here, cos C, A. For A, we don't have this. This is the angle what we're looking for, right? Then if you square 37, the answer you get, it is uh, 13, 69, which is equals to, uh, if you square 43, you're going to have one eight, uh, Four nine plus uh, one eight if you square forty three one eight four nine then e minus if you if you multiply two times forty three times forty three the answer you get it is e uh, three six nine eight then e cos e a this is the angle what we are looking for. Then now let's try to add uh, 1849 plus 1849. The answer you get here we have 1369, which is equals to the answer what you are going to get it is uh, 3698, right? Then minus uh, cos. Oh, let's take this here. There is uh, 3698 cos A. Then we are going to take uh, this term to the right side, in which it will be uh, 3698 minus 3698. Cos A, the angle that we are looking for, which is equals to this side here, which is 1369. I didn't change anything because I just uh, take this term, which is on the right hand side to the left hand side. So here we're going to say minus C, uh, 3698 cos A, because we want to make uh, cos A the subject of the formula which is equals to 1369 minus C. If you subtract, we're going to subtract with this one here, which is 3698. Then here we have minus 3698 cos A, which is equals to uh, 1369 minus C, uh, 3698. The answer what you're going to get it is, 
it's negative because we are subtracting this uh, the bigger one from the smaller number. So it, it is negative. Then you divide by minus, minus 3698. Even here, 3698. Then the answer you're going to get it is uh, cos A, it is equals to uh, 0 0.0. 0 0.0 if you punch on calculator the answer you get it is 0 0.6297 right then we have uh, this as our answer so let's find the angle now let's try to rub here to create a space since you we have a uh, cos Cos A, it is equals to 0 0.6297. Then let's take cos inverse, which is A equals uh, cos inverse of 0 0.6297, right? Then the answer what you are going to get, you press the calculator, which is cos inverse of this one. The answer you get, it is... Uh, the answer what you are going to get it is 50.96 degree. So this is our first answer for angle for angle A. So now let's move on to question E. Roman numeral 2. Find angle ACB. ACB. So we have to find uh, this angle here. And for you to find this angle. Uh, we all know that a triangle it is made up of 180, right? If you can see this length and this length are uh, equal, so that means uh, this angle here and this angle they are equal also, right? Then let's say we are going to say we are going here we have 50.96 degree, right? Then we are going to say 180 degree minus 50, 50.96. The answer you get it is, uh, the answer what you are going to get it is, let's calculate here, uh, 180 minus 50.96, right? Then the answer it is 129.04. Then this is a sum of B and C. So we are going to divide by 2. When you divide by 2, the answer you get it is uh, so angle. This is the Roman numeral 2. Angle ACB. ACB, ACB, it will be uh, when you divide this angle, the answer you get it is 64.5. This is the angle for uh, C here. Then now let's move on to question E. Uh, here we have to find the area of triangle ABC correct to one decimal place. And for you to know uh, the angle which you you must use, you must follow the letter which is in between these these letters here. So let's make a space here. So for Roman numeral three, we are asked to calculate uh, the area. We all know that area it is equals to half. So if you can see, we are asked to calculate uh, the area of a triangle ABC. So we are going to be using uh, the angle at B, right? So in which we are going to say uh, AC, then sin sine b right because this is the angle what 
they are talking about. Then A, it will be equals to half A, the small A we have uh, 37, or oh, small A we have, small A we have 37, uh, then A, open, then here for C, C. This is a small C here, we have 43, 43, then sign, we are going to be using that angle which we found when we divided 1.9.0, something here divided by 2, the answer it was uh, 64.5, so this is the angle which we would be using here, right? Then sign C is 4.5, right? Then let's multiply 37 by 43. 37 by 43. The answer it is area equals half uh, 1591 sine 64.5. Then if you divide uh, 1591 divided by 2, the answer you are going to get it is uh, seven nine five point five. Then multiply by sine sixty four point five, right? Then here we are going to say let's find a uh, sine sixty four sine six four point five. The answer what we are going to get when you do sine 6.5, let's write 7.95.5, multiply by the answer you get when you do sine 64.5, it is 0 0.9025. Then when you multiply by uh, this uh, values which we have we have here, 79. Five point five. The answer you are going to get it is seventy one eight point zero zero. So this is a kilometer squared. So this is our area, right? Then we have found the area of this triangle here. Now, now let's move on to another question. For question four, we are asked to calculate uh, the shorted distance. And the shorted distance which they are asking, they are asking uh, the shorted distance from, I've forgotten to write from C to AB. So the shorted distance it is here. This is the shorted distance what they are looking for. So what we are going to do, we all know that we are going to use uh, the formula of a triangle or finding area of a triangle, which is area equals half BH, right? Then A, we are going to multiply two times A, which is 2A equals BH. Then we are going to divide by B by B, right? Then height, it will be equals to two. Where this area, we found that it was 71, eight, right? Then you divide by 4B, for small b we have uh, 43, 43 degree here, then height it will be, then let's multiply uh, 2 times the uh, 118, 2 times the uh, 7, 18, yeah. which is the uh, 14, 36, then you divide by 43, 43 degree, the answer you are going to get it is, uh, when you divide by 43, the answer you get it is 83.39 kilometer. So this is a, a shorter distance 
which we have found along uh, this triangle here. Then now let's move on to another question here for question B. We are told to, to solve the equation. We are told to solve the equation in which we are going to say three, this is B, but B. We're going to three, three, open bracket T minus five, then A minus two equals minus one plus e, T, right? Then here let's expand what is in the bracket, three times T, which is three T, three times five, which is minus 15, minus E, two, which is equals to minus one plus e, T, right? Then here, if you can see, we have to correct the right term in which we are going to say three T uh, minus T. Then here we have minus 17 because negative and negative we are going to add. So it is minus 17 equals to minus one. Then here, three T minus T, we are going to have two T, which is equals to minus one. When 17 across is equals to, to be plus 17, right? Then 2t equals minus 1 plus 17, it is 16. We are going to subtract and follow the sign, which is a bigger number, right? Then here you divide by 2, by 2, t it will be equals to 8. So this is our answer for the last question. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so the next time you may see the new update. Uh, this question was extracted from 2015 paper 2 exams in a question 10. Thank you.